Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more program in Python that is to find the Fibonacci sequence. So first let us see the logic and then we'll implement in Python. So first we'll see what is the Fibonacci sequence and then we'll start writing the code. So Fibonacci sequence. So first we need to take the length, how much length we require. How much length we require. That means how many number of elements to be there in this Fibonacci sequence, right? So that means how many numbers should be present. And then the Fibonacci sequence will start with 0 and 1, okay? So here the sequence starts with 0 1 so 0 will be the first element and 1 will be the second element and we need to find the third fourth fifth and so on so we'll get the third element third element by adding first and second first plus second and we'll get a fourth element, fourth element by adding second plus third, right? And fifth element, fifth element by third and fourth, right? And this sequence will be continued, okay? Until we get this particular length. So the input, the input for this Fibonacci sequence will be the number of elements to be present in Fibonacci sequence. And then initially we'll consider some A is equal to zero and a B is equal to one, right? Because the first element is zero and second element is one. And what about the next one? C is equal to A plus B c is equal to a plus b right now the next element the next element in order to get the next element what we have to do we have to swap the numbers we have to swap the numbers so a becomes b and b becomes c okay b becomes c now again we'll calculate the c so this logic we'll use this logic until until and also will will uh, in each and every iteration we are going to increment the count value increment the count value or a length right so this process should be repeated until the count is greater than sorry until the count is less than the length given length taken length Right. So for every iteration, we are going to increment the count value or length value. Right. So we need to uh, check this condition until this condition becomes false. We have to repeat the same procedure. For example, take five elements. Okay. The length is five. Right. See, let us consider here. Here, let us take some length is equal to 5. So count, initially we need to take the count as 2 because we are having the count 0 and 1. Okay, two elements are there. Right. So here the possibility is, is if n, if, if the length is negative, so we have to use only positive values. We have to print only positive values. If the length is equal to 1, simply you can print a value print a value so if length is greater than one simply you can print this one okay take the count is equal to two so two less than five two less than five so here a is equal to zero b is equal to one and c c is equal to a plus b so we'll print a zero one and 
c is equal to 0 plus 1 which is nothing but 1 and count value the count value will be 3 initially it is 2 now in the first iteration it is 3 next after this one again it will check count count less than 5 so 3 less than 5 true 3 less than 5 2 true so what happens we have to swap this one a is equal to b so a is equal to b means 1 and b is equal to c b is equal to c c value is 1 okay c value is 1 so c value is 1 now again calculate the c is equal to a plus b c is equal to a plus b means c 2 2 and the count value will be incremented count is equal to 4 so previously it is 3 now it will be 4 so 2 must be printed here and again so count the count less than length so 4 less than 5 4 less than 5 so again a is equal to b so b value is 1 and b is equal to c c value is 2 and c is equal to 1 plus 2 which is nothing but 3 right and count is equal to 5 count is equal to 5 so 3 should be printed here 3 and again check the con condition the count less than length so 5 less than 5 false so we have to stop the iteration the sequence will be this one 0 1 1 2 3 you can observe here the first element second element the third element is addition of 1 and 2 and fourth element will be addition of 2 and 3 and the fifth element is addition of 3 and 4 so like this the sequence will be continued right so this is the logic to implement the Fibonacci sequence so we have to give the length how many elements it should be present in the output in the Fibonacci sequence now we will implement the same thing in the interpreter so let us move on to the interpreter see first let us take the number of elements so I will take n is equal to int of input enter length of Fibonacci sequence Fibonacci sequence or Fibonacci series whatever it may be both are equal so after that take the initial values so let it be n1 is equal to 0 and uh, n2 is equal to 1 okay so in order to avoid the confusion i am using some n1 and n2 right and also initialize the count value as 2 because the count value n1 and n2 will be 2 now check the condition if n value that means a length is less than 0 so simply you have to print enter only positive values next if if n is greater than 0 and a length is equal to is equal to 1 simply print the single value n1 n1 and if length is greater than this one simply write else that means greater than 1 simply first uh, print n1 n2 because these are the two elements right now write down the logic so while the count the count less than n sorry less than n until the less than n so n3 is equal to n1 plus n2 and swap the values n1 is equal to n2 n2 is equal to n3 right uh, and before swapping just print the n3 print n3 right so after swapping and also we have to increment the count value so count plus is equal to 1 count plus is equal to 1 right so let us implement this one so if you give minus 10 we will get enter only positive values so if i execute and if i enter 1 we will get the sequence only one element so enter the length of Fibonacci sequence we are we are trying to print only one element so 0 is the only element if i if i execute the statement and give the length as 2 we 
will get a 0 1 because the sequence is 2 the first two elements are 0 1 and if I give length as 3 so we'll get 0 1 1 so this third element will be the addition of first two numbers right next if you go with 4 see the third element will be the addition of first two elements and the fourth one is the addition of first and second the third one right sorry the third the fourth element will be the addition of second and third so 1 plus 1 it is 2 if you give some a you can observe here so 0 1 and 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 5 30 so total elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we have we are giving to print the Fibonacci sequence of length 8 so total 8 elements have been printed so if you use an end attribute here so we'll get the output in a single line if you want to print the sequence in a single line simply use the end attribute so end is equal to this one so if you give 8 so the element the sequence of Fibonacci sequence will be up to this one right so if you give some 10 so you can observe here that these are the 10 elements the Fibonacci sequence so the present value will be the addition of previous two values so one previous addition of previous two two previous two 3 addition of previous 2 similarly 34 is an addition of 13 plus 21 so this is a Fibonacci sequence a very simple so initially the values will be 0 and 1 so we are just uh, finding the count value so initially the count will be 2 and we are incrementing the count in every iteration and we are checking the condition condition we are repeating the statements until the count is less than n n is nothing but a length the length of Fibonacci sequence right and after addition we are just printing the element and we are incrementing the count and we are swapping the elements so n2 value will be stored in n1 and n3 value will be stored in n2 that means addition of previous two elements right so hope you understood this one and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, Fibonacci sequence feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session Share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.